curtain of darkness hangs over the coast of Britain. The dark shadow of ships flash their signals to the shore. Ships of all shapes and sizes, manned by sailors and merchantmen of Britain. They are on their way home. Home from the hell that is Dunkirk. The numbers they have brought back are the measure of their devotion and their courage. Our darkest hour. A call to arms. 850 ships sail to Dunkirk in the biggest evacuation in military history. Now, one of those boats, the Vanguard, has been saved from destruction. I was pleased that we funded it, Glenis, weren't we? Oh, yes. So we nodded to one another. I said, yep. Aged 84, David Hopkins yeah. and his wife, Glynis, have personally funded for this boat to be brought home. We saved it. We got it back. A lot of people said we'd never do it, but we've done it. The Vanguard was one of three vessels which made the perilous journey from Burnham on Crouch to Dunkirk in 1940. But after playing such a vital role, the boat is now in major disrepair. It's been docked on a boatyard in Canby Island, being plundered for firewood. Some even set it on fire. When you think they save people from the beaches of Dunkirk, you know, it's, it's fascinating really. But I've done my bit, and I'll leave it to the younger ones, try to raise a bit of money. This is the Vanguard. Yes, fantastic to see her here. She was dying and we were told by the owner, look, you can have her, but rescue her because I can't stop the vandals. That's Nick Skeens. He's part of a team to get the Vanguard back to its former glory. And we managed to get her here, which is a fantastic feeling. It's massive. Yes, well, if you look at it from the front, it doesn't look unlike a sort of Viking longship. It's got beautiful lines. You can see it's, it's a very shallow draft boat, very wide and very curved. And it has a lovely sheer line, which is slightly twisted now because of this gap in the wood just towards the stern where people cut through the gunnel at the top. And the reason why they're taking firewood is it's old grain pitch pine and it burns really well. And so the lift, when we brought her here from Canvey, she nearly broke as we lowered her because she'd been weakened. But the uh, good news is, is that she didn't, and she's so well made that she survived that. And we're really hopeful we're going to be able to get her back on the water. So Nick, should we climb aboard? Yes, let's do that. Uh, you're standing now in the remains of the forward hatch, which is where all the oysters would have been dropped in. The deck runs at this level, which is about level with my chest. The engine would have been just in the middle of the boat here, and just behind that there would have been some sort of seating down below for protection from the weather and uh, boiling a cup of tea. A very humble boat that did a very extraordinary thing. She's only designed for river work, so it was a, a big thing to take her across the channel. But they did it because they realised that British soldiers were in serious peril. 330,000 men were stranded at Dunkirk. When the news reached Burnham on Crouch, the vanguard sprung into action. She was part of a flotilla, if you like. There was the Majoire, which was a, a yacht. There was a sea salter, a slightly larger version of this, and the vanguard. And eventually they arrived at the beach, which was crowded with soldiers, and were told to get out of the way of the harbour. They didn't want any boats in the harbour for obvious reasons. And because the vanguard has that small freeboard, they were able to easily pick up the soldiers who were in the water. And then they began a massive ferrying operation, taking people from the beaches to the larger boats. The three boats working together saved about 600 men. Nick's dream is to see this ship back in the sea, to do the original journey from Burnham on Crouch to Dunkirk. I think it would be fantastic to be able to actually walk down to the Burnham waterfront, step aboard the Vanguard. I think that would be wonderful for people to be on a Dunkirk little ship that had such a heroic role. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the...